Hey there, small groups. My name is Joel Halbenreich. I'm one of the co-leaders of, of a small group. I'm also involved with the sandwich ministry. I encourage you guys to check it out. It's making sandwiches, not eating them. But so today we're looking at the gospel for the third week, third Sunday of Lent, pardon me. And uh, this reading is from John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recall the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the feast of Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all and did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. So a lot of people will misunderstand this passage, this story of Jesus cleansing the temple as an example of him acting out of his frustration or his anger, like righteous anger, but, but John includes an important detail. He made a whip out of cords. This isn't Jesus flying off the handle. He doesn't, you know, lose himself and, and, you know, start beating people. That takes time. He had to find some cord, find the cord of the right length, twine it, tie off the end, and then get to work. It's basically rolling his sleeves up really slowly. A lot of people think that zeal means, you know, you're not thinking about it, you're driven by that passion. But Jesus shows us that in our zeal, we need to be intentional. We see emotional zeal later. When Jesus is being arrested at Gethsemane, Peter lunges out with a sword and cuts off a man's ear. And even while being arrested, Jesus heals the man, corrects Peter, and goes on. Peter was acting out of that emotion. Jesus says to temper that and be prudent. So next time we're tempted to tell someone off for the Lord or blow our stack for the Lord, whatever it is, whatever evil we're confronting, you know, whether, I mean, it could be something real, it's blasphemy, it's oppression, it's some type of injustice, something like that. We still have to approach it, yes, with zeal, but with a formed conscience and a clear head. Thanks for being a part of our small group community here at the Cathedral of Christ the King. If you liked that video, be sure you stick around for those discussion questions and share it with someone who might be interested in joining our community here at the Cathedral. May God bless you all.